What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're back out in the barn. Um, got a little update for you uh, since the last video. Actually, the last video was a wheel and tire reveal, but a little update since uh, the suspension changes. Uh, a couple things that have come up, a couple things that have changed, a couple more things that I'm going to be changing. So you guys will see some of that in this video. So let's get right into it. All right. So the first thing that has happened or that I've noticed. I've probably put almost a thousand miles on the truck since I took the lift off and lowered the rear end. So there's a couple things that I've noticed. Uh, number one, my the rear end is really squeaky. So I don't know what's what that all is about. But So we got some changes to do there. Uh, the first one I already did. Um, I did it actually probably about a week after I got the truck back sitting down. It's because the thing rode like crap. Um, I know I pointed it out in a couple videos ago, which I'll put that clip in now, of the airbags being fully compressed. My rear airbags are fully compressed. So that's what we did. We pulled the airbags out. So there they are. Like, I, like you just saw, you know, they were compressed down to, you know, nothing. So we pulled those out and the rear end actually dropped almost another inch. Just from pulling those out, it dropped. So that was problem number one. So we got the ride quality good. Well, better. So the next thing, um, it, we're coming back up to the front end on this one. It's squeaking in the front too. But it's not, or I, I shouldn't say squeaking. It's more like, uh, I don't know. It's, it's only when I hit big bumps. So what I think it was is uh, I put the sway bars end links back in it when I that I pulled off when I originally put the lift on so they're used so we're gonna be getting new sway bar end links and seeing if that takes care of that um, I also have a bad wheel bearing on the passenger side um, so I gotta do that that probably won't happen in this video because we got a lot of stuff to work on but so the next thing that we gotta take care of is the traction bars let me get some light for you Alrighty, so now we got some light. Um, I'm gonna try and hold the camera pretty level, but you can see the traction bars. They're running way uphill, and the bottom of that bracket is only about, I'd say, six or seven inches from the ground, which isn't a big deal because this truck will never go off road ever again. But it's just a weird angle, and I think that's also part of my. Uh, issue in the rear end with it being kind of squeaky like I had said. We're going to get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to drop these traction bars out and get all the mounts cut off because we're not going back with traction bars. Um, like I've kind of been hitting at, this is going to be geared more towards uh, a little bit more like drag racing type application. So we're going to be putting a set of Caltrax on it. With that being said, I was kind of skeptical because um, I still do occasionally want to be able to tow with this thing. Like not super heavy. Like kind of what I used to do but still want to be able to pull my tractor around and you know it's it's not huge but still weighs you know 4,000 pounds plus a trailer so I still want to be able to tow that around and one of the things I was skeptical with was um is that everybody says that they're loud when you're towing on them so I don't know we'll find out uh if I have to, I'll make up another set of bars that are a lot shorter and go up on like the swoop of the frame a little bit so they're not running downhill. But So we'll get right into it.
All right, it's the next day. You can't really see me that good because, uh, um, yeah, I don't have any lights. So here, here we go. All right, so it's the next day. Um, I stopped because I painted the new sway bar and links. Um, I'll show you that. So all I did was uh, like the, I don't know, the, the little center pieces and then like the ends that like secure the bushings. That's all I painted. Uh, here's the old ones. Like I said, these are pretty wore out. If it'll ever focus. I mean, you can you can see they're like angled and stuff. So they need to be replaced. So I finished yesterday off. I just painted those. Um, so today, we're going to get those put on. And then I'm going to undercoat the frame where I ground those, uh, those tabs off. I'm going to leave the axle tabs on for now. Just in case that... Uh, I end up not liking the cal tracks, and I go. I want to go back with a set of bars, um, so we'll leave those on. The new, the if I end up doing a different set of bars, they're gonna be shorter, anyways. So the front mounts would be in a different place. So that's why we'll just leave the axle tabs on. So let's get right into it. Invincible. There one is installed. That was uh, not the easiest thing. The way I got it up in the air, so the angle of the A arm is kind of different than it would be fully compressed. Truck's kind of low now, so uh, it's kind of hard to get underneath it. So I think I'm gonna have to get some race ramps or something. That way I can still keep. That way I can still keep all the weight um, on the actual suspension for when I do stuff like that. So, well, things I'm got to adapt to with a lowered truck now. So, I'm um, going to go ahead and paint the frame and then uh, we'll catch back up with you guys. So we got it back down on all fours. Um, the first thing I noticed I moved it, I pulled it back and forth because I don't like setting these things down with the independent front suspension because it like, I don't know, it toes out weird and it's, I don't know, I feel like it sits weird on the front end. So I always like move it back and forth. And uh, when I did that, the front end didn't really squeak anymore when I uh, would like turn and then I jumped on the rear end a little bit like to get it to go up and down. and. The squeak in there was gone too, so I think that was with the traction bars. Uh, the one bar which you guys saw me take off, that one um, had no, like no pressure on it. It was lined up perfect with the hole like it should have been and all that. So that one went good, but then um, the passenger side, the side you guys didn't see, I had to get like a punch and drive the bolt out and then when I like slid it back up into place to see how far off it was, it was off like three eighths of an inch. So I think that was binding it up pretty good. So that was a lot my fault. Um, I should have, I don't know. I should have checked that again once it, the rear end all settled back in for me tightening it up. But I don't know, it's what it is. So we're going a different route, getting a set of cal tracks. Uh, I actually got a guy, actually you've seen me work on his truck before. Um, he bought the truck and it had a set of cal tracks not put on or nothing just a brand new set and he primarily tows with the truck so i'm gonna trade him my bars for those cal tracks and uh that way i don't know no money out of my pocket he gets a set of bars on his truck i'm gonna install those so you guys might see that in an upcoming video so if you're stopping it for the first time hit the subscribe button on the way out and we'll catch you guys in the next one